So, um, you know, one of the biggest destroyers of wealth, of course, is taxes. Um, and there's so many different types of taxes. You know, there's taxes at the state level, income taxes, capital gains taxes at the federal level. Um, there's business taxes, personal taxes. So as a, you know, I have a master's degree in tax law. It's an LLM in taxation. And um, we do a fair amount of trying to protect people's wealth from taxation. And it can take many different forms. You know, it may just be telling somebody, hey, you know, go set up a retirement account. Uh, you can set these up so that the dollars that go in are tax deferred. The earlier you start, the better, you know, from a retirement planning strategy. But sometimes it gets a, a lot more complex. So, you know, for some of our clients, especially small, um, you know, professional service firms, so CPAs, law, law firms, engineers, if you have a small professional firm like that, Sometimes a cash balance plan is going to really be beneficial because it's almost like a, a souped-up retirement account where uh, I've got some clients that are literally putting in $250,000 tax-deferred, so you don't pay taxes on two fifty. That's a nice write-off for a lot of people. And then it grows tax-deferred until they start pulling it out. Um, some of our clients look at conservation easements, and it's a way to, to help reduce income taxes. Some of our clients look at uh, doing charitable planning and all the different forms of that, uh, which can often be tax deductible. Um, some of our clients look at cash, uh, I'm sorry, uh, captive insurance companies. And captive insurance companies is a way that we can actually, for a high profit, highly profitable business owner, uh, where uh, not only do we get some really good insurance uh, to help protect against certain kinds of risks, we can also asset protect those premiums, and they are, it's, it's basically you own your own insurance company. Uh, your own insurance company can take in $1.2 million uh, free of any income taxes on the premiums um, every year. So it's a deduction by the operating company, yet your, your captive insurance company uh, can exclude up to 1.2 million, so it's a 1.2 million dollar deduction to your operating company. You know, state and federal, that might save you 40, 45 percent. Uh, it's pretty big, you know, uh, savings for clients. So there's just a number of different uh, income, estate, uh, tax strategies that will help our, our clients implement to to keep the government out of their pockets. So.